Hi Virgo, welcome to Virake the Tribe. My name is Ayushi and I'm bringing you your June 2018 reading. Guys, uh, this is going to be for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. I'm not doing a uh, 10 card Celtic cross like I always do. So if you are a old subscriber of mine, then guys, I'm sorry. I'm doing a different spread this time. And those of you who are new, kindly subscribe to my channel if you resonate with this reading. So let's begin with Virgo Sun Moon Rising. What is coming up for Virgo Sun Moon Rising with regards to what what is their past, present or future energy? So guys, I'm doing past, present, future energy. Then I'm going to look into look into what you what you should stop doing, what you should start doing, and what you should continue doing in the month of June. And uh, then I'll look into what your strength is, what your weakness is, and what is your advice. And then we will also look into your blockages. So let's see what's coming up for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. What is their past, present, future energy? Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Past, present, future energy. Virgo Sun Moon Rising. So your past energy is the daughter of wands, your present energy is two of pentacles, your future energy is two of cups. So these are nice energies, nothing negative here. Uh, your overall energy as soon as I said that is the five of pentacles. So you feel very left out in the cold, you feel either you have left somebody out in the cold or someone has left you out in the cold and it can also mean that you feel that financially you are not doing well or you are not feeling financially uh, supported or uh, you are just feeling financially not doing so well and something is boring you, something is uh, not uh, making you feel interested or you, someone, something is not uh, attracting your attention. Sorry about the train guys. Excuse me about the train guys, I'm really, really, really sorry about that. In case you had your uh, earphones um, on, I'm sorry about the train. Guys, so yeah, so you feel that uh, you are not doing financially well and something is not keeping your attention, like you mo want more, you want uh, to uh, have more uh, emotional satisfaction and whatever is being offered to you, you feel that it's less, especially if it's in terms of money. Uh, I'm also getting that some of you are feeling dissatisfied with your family life, your uh, home situation. Uh, you feel that uh, home situation is unsatisfactory or some of you are looking for a commitment or a marriage. Uh, I feel it can work out only if, uh, only if uh, either you're dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. Uh, you will have to uh, give up some uh, thought like there is a certain way of thinking that you have that you need to uh, go under some transformation like change something regarding how you think about a situation so look i'm getting six of swords with eight of swords so eight of swords is uh, feeling tied down uh, because you feel that you cannot make any progress uh, and the death card in between is that you have you should end that thought process and Death is also about transformation, so you need to change the way you think about things. So, um, I'm also getting here that you need to align your uh, mind, soul, and your uh, heart. So, whatever your mind is saying, I was just explaining explaining it to the Leos. Like, uh, you cannot make a decision in your life just from your heart space or from your uh, mind space. You need to be able to uh, you know integrate both of those and make a balanced de decision so yes once you do that you will be able to move forward because right now i feel some of you are feeling stuck regarding a situation regarding a commitment regarding a family situation so it can also be that uh, some of you are 
just not feeling it there can be some uh, like i feel there is love and everything is just that you don't feel uh, like you have enough uh, bank balance now uh, why am i getting it? that is because in your uh, past energy you have the daughter of wands so some of you have a project or certain passion that you want to uh, take care of you want to pursue it and until unless you are uh, fully focused on it you fully developing it into a proper idea and implementing it and reaping the benefits of it like it is a daughter of wands you need to go to from daughter daughter of wands to queen of wands to the father of wands so it's a long run process so in past you had uh, started something or you wanted to start something you wanted to take care of your vision your idea your passion and you wanted to move towards it because you felt that it was an infinite possibility it had infinite possibility and it had infinite potential uh, some of you even saw some results but in your present energy i have two of pentacles so you are now juggling two two things in your life like you are trying to find a balance in your life you are trying to uh, get hold of your finances as well as your personal life or you are trying to take care of two jobs or you want to uh, you feel like you need to do two jobs in order to sustain i am also getting here that uh, you have a support of someone who cares about you they have uh, reciprocated their feelings or in future someone is going to reciprocate your feelings and you will uh, share with them the say like what whatever that you have uh, got to share with them because the feelings are mutual uh, some of you are dealing with a leo because leo just had this card in the same spot but i think it for them it was in a different spread uh, but yeah so let me see what else is coming up okay so your energies for future is very nice like uh, you are getting nice energies in your future so right now right, right now things are burdening like uh, pre in present your energy is uh, the devil card the 10 of wands and the 2 of pentacles so in present some of you are dealing with lot of exhaustion lot of uh, burden in your own life like you feel that everything is uh, upon you like uh, you feel very burdened like nobody is taking care of uh, the situation other than you or you ha you think that you have lot of things on your plate lot of things to uh, take care of and you feel alone in that and it is a very dark uh, place to be in i am also getting that uh, you are uh, dealing with some sort of addiction in your life it can be that someone is trying to uh, overpower you like in a uh, authoritative position or there can be uh, that you are dealing with a capricorn person or you feel that um, uh, something has held you back or there has been a some sort of um, addiction that you are not able to let go of like it can be anything and uh, for different people it's going to be something else i'm getting for some of you it's you are a workaholic uh, is what i'm getting some of, for some of you and uh, i'm getting that um, i'm getting that your uh, addiction is affect, affecting your love life or it will affect your future uh, partnership i'm also getting that um, in past uh, energy you have you had to let go of something like you had to make a very uh, very uh, important decision because this is a uh, you are getting two major arcana the judgment and the magician so in past uh, you felt that like i said you felt you had lot of potential you had lot of resources but uh, something happened like um, something uh, needed to be given up something needed to be uh, let go of something that you need you needed to rise above something you needed to forgive and forget something that you needed to um, like you had you you made a call in past you made a call uh, regarding something let me see what that is it could be regarding a love offer or it could be regarding a pisces scorpio uh, cancer or someone who is just very loving and uh, caring they were offering or something and uh, some decision was made or uh you felt that you were very powerful and you felt that you had so much going on in your life and you had so much resources uh that's it all in past and you wanted to focus on your vision and idea i'm also getting here that some of you had to make a choice between two people one was a very someone was someone was very hot basically and the other person was very caring and then you made a choice like you i think you decided to go along with a person 
who was a like I, I feel it it was at workplace like you wanted to take your chance and uh, uh, you offered them something passionate and for some of you that is why it is uh, in present it is the devil card like at work there is something addictive or just something very toxic at work there is just something very toxic is what i'm getting now in future though you have nice energies coming up like i said you have the sun you have the uh, two of uh, cups you have the um, daughter of cups so two of cups like i said is mutual attraction mutual uh, feelings mutual respect and regard for each other i'm also getting daughter of cups which is um, someone offering you their heart their emotion their uh, loving uh, tender uh, care and uh, this person wears their heart on their sleeve they can be very naive and innocent uh, this can be your child as well and some of you are having a child which can be a uh, in the month which like i think some of you will uh, have a newborn baby and it would be a cancer child or something i'm getting that and uh, some of you are getting pregnant and uh, which is with your soulmate i'm also getting that um, you guys are very happy you guys are very very happy like in future i feel that in june or uh, middle or end of june you will be very happy now we see what is coming up right now some of you are just feeling very rejected what is the uh, what should virgo stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the month of uh, june 2018 virgo i am getting that you need to drop your defense mechanism something you are trying to defend this card just flipped uh, in reverse so seven of wands you are protecting your heart and it is uh, it's not helping you like uh, i am getting that uh, it's not going to help you and it's going to make you feel even more helpless if you are defending yourself so you need to drop that uh, defense mechanism you are just trying to uh, push people away and uh, that's not going to going to work what is your sorry guys what are the what should virgo stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing in the month of june 2018 virgo sun moon rising what are the messages that we are getting for virgo sun moon rising what should they start doing what should they stop doing what should they continue doing virgo sun moon rising what should they stop doing what should they continue doing what should they start what should they stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing okay the empress in as the bottom of the deck so empress card what you should stop doing is the seven of cups what you should start doing is the ten of cups what should you continue doing oh wow oh wow like some of you are uh, uh, dealing with a cancer person and uh, i think because cancer also had these two cards same uh, reading same spread side by side same place like uh, weakness for cancer was the 10 of cups and uh, uh, the what should they continue doing is the 8 of pentacles and uh, your energy is crossing over so if you are de dealing with a cancer or if you just want to look at that reading you can uh, please do so probably there is some message for you there and then empress card so overall energy is the empress card so i feel here that you are very abundant uh, and uh, still you are looking away from your abundance like there is something very abundant but you are still looking away you are not looking at it you are looking at um, uh, like you are very suspicious of your abundance or whatever you have you are not paying attention to it you feel that um, i don't know you are just not happy okay you have things but you are not happy and uh, what i'm getting here is that what you should stop doing is that if you are wasting your time or your energy uh thinking that uh, like
like you are just wasting your time doing different things different things like uh, you have impressions in your life from people who just come in your life and they leave an impression on you and then you uh, take them very seriously and i'm getting that um, these people uh, these people these people have no uh, intention towards you to build something with you uh, these people just come and you try to uh, paint something like you try to paint them in a way uh, i don't know you want to color them in a way that you like but you know that when you are doing it then also you are hating it like you don't like doing it but you you have a tendency to do something of that sort and you feel that uh, you feel that uh, you are doing a great job at it like you need to stop doing that like you uh, you try to uh, sketch a character of people around you and you feel that you are so good at it so i think you are just spending your focus and energy on how other people are and how they are acting you observe them really well uh you try to uh, capture them in a certain frame uh, like you want to like you want to have a label or something for them you uh, try to uh, i'm just seeing that you don't like doing it but you are doing it that's what i'm seeing so yes uh, i don't know what the message is there but something of that sort and i'm also getting that people just leave an impression on you and uh, i don't know what you do with it but that's what i'm getting now uh, the start uh, what you should start doing is that you need to start focusing on your happiness your abundance your family how you will build your family or how you can uh, contribute to your family how you should uh, focus your energy towards your uh, complete bliss uh, this is what i'm getting i'm also getting that uh, you need to be passionate about uh, uh, about a family or if you want a family you need to be very passionate about it and you need to plant seed of um like you know i'm getting that uh, you need to uh, start uh, investing in it like the start is going to be very uh, minimum because the pentacle here is very 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 small like the pentacle the smallest pentacle i have ever seen in any deck is here in this uh, hand of this child sorry guys i can't focus on it so yes so the pentacle is very small so you are starting is small but i am getting that uh, the full moon behind these two people something regarding sagittarius full moon uh, which is i guess on 13th of um, i am not sure when the full moon is in sagittarius it but i think please check when the uh, sagittarius full moon is i think uh, you will plant some seed or you are planting some seed or you are being very enthusiastic this day and you are planning something out regarding a family or how uh, you want it to look or how you want it to be you are planning something and uh, uh, you are both uh, clear about it you are passionate about it you are financially ready for it like whatever it takes you are going to take care of it uh, and there is then 10 of cups that is how you will have 10 of cups is what i'm getting and someone is there who cares a lot about you is what i'm getting here and these people are satisfied now uh, what you should continue doing is keep continuing uh, working on whatever that you are working on so if you are working on something currently that is what you have to keep on doing uh don't give up on it and i'm getting that um there is almost it looks like a sun card almost like a sun card so i'm getting here that some of you will work uh, like it is a eight of pentacles so this eight of pentacles will turn into a sun card which is a happiness card which is again abundance card so it will take you a lot of effort lot of uh, you know 9 to 5 sort of job because look at the uh, like it looks like a clock so uh like you will have to work like a uh, machine uh, but uh, i'm seeing here that uh, you are not liking it because look at this person who is working they are making faces but um, you are doing it so you are not liking it but you are doing it and it is something that you do repeatedly uh, like you you do it repeatedly and 
uh, i'm also getting kindly take care of your um, fuel like whatever fuels you whatever fuels you uh, you need to take care of it time to time and uh, keep working at what you are working don't give up and uh, regulate uh, your uh, intensity like i'm getting regulate your intensity i'm also getting the call of this empress as the overall energy that uh, things will work out for you and things will be nice for you in the month of june only if you feel that you are abundant and only if you th- Uh, you know uh, has a sense of gratitude uh, for things that you already have uh, i am also getting that some of you are dealing with a taurus person or someone who is um, who has a lot to give like lot to offer for some of you there is just family stuff that is in the focus and uh, for some of you you are indulging in uh, alcohol because um, uh like you are getting carried away uh, into fantasy and something like that what is the strength weakness and advice for the sign of virgo for the month of june 2018 strength weakness and advice for the sign of virgo sun moon rising for the month of june 2018 strength and weakness and advice for virgo sun moon rising one last shuffle strength weakness advice your advice is again uh, eight of uh pentacles so you need to just uh, keep putting in the effort wherever you are keep doing the thing that you are doing keep polishing the skills that you are uh, acquiring and keep doing it like uh, just just do it like that's what i'm getting so your advice is again like you will have you will gain lot of insight or you will have lot of tools to make this work and uh, you have to just uh, isolate yourself or uh, just put your head down and do your work your overall energy is the knight of uh, swords so your strength is that you are very patient about something you are being very patient about something you are willing to uh, wait it out you are willing to uh, be you are willing to nurture something you are willing to uh, invest in something uh, you but right now you can, you can be a little bit like a, in a very skeptical mind like you are like uh, should i invest in it should i not is it worth it is it not uh, in that uh, like you in that uh, making that um, you are ma- you are analyzing it basically so whatever that you uh, have invested in you are analyzing it but uh, this is your um, strength so keep doing that and um, be patient and wait for uh, something to bear you f- uh foods because it won't happen sudden like in one day it will take some time for some of you it will take 7 weeks for some of you it will take 7 months now what is your weakness here is that the um, four of swords your weakness is you are not healing yourself your weakness is that uh you are uh, not resting your weakness is that you are not taking enough care of yourself uh you are um not uh i say because i see the rabbit so whenever i see the rabbit i feel like it's alice in wonderland rabbit hole so i think you're not letting yourself uh, imagine or dream a good life you are not letting that happen so that is coming up as your weakness like uh, uh, it's it's like okay so this is what i'm saying what i'm seeing here is that um, like have you seen movie inception i haven't seen it but i think it's like a dream within a dream sort of a thing and uh, what i feel here is that uh, for some of you you feel that um, those things uh, are just uh, in a movie or such things don't happen but what i'm feeling here is that there is something about your dream like you need to dream a big dream like you need to have a good dream uh, so that once you wake up or obviously you need to be conscious about what you are dreaming because uh, that is how you are placing your life uh, 
you are uh, restructuring it you are rebuilding it but for that you need to heal yourself you need to relax you need to be in a very calm space of mind to do it uh, what i'm seeing is that when once you will start doing it over and over again uh, you will see uh, that um, it has a bigger purpose and i think you will see that uh, it was not just a dream is what i'm getting so you are also then uh, your advice is that after your dreaming and stuff you need to work on it you need to uh, invest in it you need to make effort so what i'm getting here is that lot of patience and lot of effort lot of investment and lot of effort lot of resting regulating uh, your um, life uh, and effort that is all i am also getting that you are cutting uh, things that are not serving you out of your life you are not uh, taking it along with you you are uh, being very aggressive and you are leaving it all behind especially if it's a uh, it can be a fire sign libra okay fire sign um, leo sagittarius aries sun moon rising or libra aquarius gemini which is the air sign which is this so you are cutting uh, things out of your life which don't serve you i think you are also um, trying to cut people out of your life because you feel that uh, they will cause conflict in your life and you don't want it so you are cutting it out and you want to balance it out and then you are focusing on your uh, self care and self worth you are uh, trying to be independent financially uh, and it would be a huge task for you uh, because uh, right now i see again see that you are in the five of pentacles so you are either doing not doing financially well or you are left out in the cold but then you are aiming for a nine of pentacles which is you just being focused on your dreams and uh, your money in on your luxurious life some of you are being very patient with with regards to a heartbreak that happened and some of you uh, you are um, your weakness is that you are not expressing your emotions and what you should continue doing is that you need to have control over your emotions and uh, you need to listen to your heart i'm not saying get carried away because of your emotion you need to be uh, in control of your emotions and feel them like give them space feel them don't fear them so that was your reading uh, virgo and uh, i will pull um, blockages card and then i'll pull one advice card what are the blockages for the sign of virgo sun moon risings for the sign of virgo sun moon rising for the month of june 2018 okay i lost my internet connection what are the messages and blockages for the sign of virgo for the month of june 2018 faith again mysticism and creation guilt so you are feeling guilty virgo some of you have guilt guys my uh, nose is itchy because i don't know why but it's itchy and uh, kindly excuse that yeah so you feel guilt some of you feel have a certain feeling of guilt like you probably did something or you, there is also some insecurity behind it so yes either some of you are focused too much on your work or something like that or you just have certain sort of guilt like you did not take you didn't take care of somebody who was sick uh, something of that sort like um, you let your uh, insecurities uh, interfere with your heart space uh, you let your uh, anger or something uh, get better of you i'm also getting that you are not you are blocking yourself or your abundance because you don't believe in things you don't want to have faith uh, even leos had this so they uh, you don't have enough faith in the universe and uh, when once when, when you don't have enough faith in the faith in the universe or how the uh, world is uh, functioning uh, you you do, that just means that you don't even have faith in your own self uh, mr sulam is coming up as your blockage so either you are believing too much in faith or you are investing too much in uh, uh, a tarot reading or just watching a lot of tarot videos and you are not doing anything like you are uh, creation is coming up as a blockage so you are not doing anything uh, for uh, from your own space like you are not creating anything from your own hands which is not good mysticism as a blockage you are either believing too much of it or you are not believing in uh, enough of it like there is a certain balance with everything so you cannot overdo anything like if you are uh, following uh, some uh, law of attraction or something like that you cannot overdo it like uh, you cannot depend on it you need to have some certain sense of um 
certain sense of moderation so basically universe will uh, function at its own uh, pace you need to have your own pace you cannot uh, keep looking at the world like why didn't it happen i was thinking about uh, this and this and i have been working on this for such a long time nothing has happened nothing has happened uh, that is a very wrong way to go about it like you need to um, what i'm going to say here is that there are layers to there are layers to anything so everything is not just how you look at it if there is a layer with uh, that probably you have seen the outer layer but you haven't seen the inside of it uh, and probably if you have seen that as well then you haven't seen the uh, other side of it so uh, you cannot just uh, have a opinion or you cannot just have a uh, you know certain uh, idea about something and then just um, base your entire life on it or base your entire choice or decision on it so mysticism uh, is a part of life but it's not the entire life so i don't know uh, what this is for you but this is coming up as a blockage so either some of you are on a or are on a spiritual journey so uh, something is blocking you there like you are not able to move forward in that journey something of that sort uh another uh, your blockage is that now you need to start creating things that you can share with people around you or just for your own self because creation is coming up uh, i think some of you here are uh, working on your third eye chakra or the crown chakra um, you are uh, working on it like you are trying to activate activate it so yes that was a message and then i look into your advice card one final final card that i'll pull out for you for the month of june 2018 one advice card for the virgo sun moon rising shock of the new shock of the new something is new starting for some of you and don't get shocked by it and um, adapt to it and uh, you will learn how to uh, balance those two you know uh, the old life that you had and the new life that you will have try to balance it out uh, there is nature and then there is technology so everything has its space nothing is uh, complete just by itself it is complete just on its own but it is still uh, interconnected or in, uh, like everything is interdependent on uh, everything else so there is nothing uh, that you can just say that this thing is like this and it uh, will always be like this no it is always going to get affected by other factors and then you have the uh, card bringing it into form so you are starting a new path you are starting on a new path it's a, probably a solo journey but you are feeling stable because of this new start and you are uh, bringing in bringing things to uh, fruition like you are bringing things to physical uh, physical like you are bringing it into a uh, physical uh, form so you are just beginning right now though and there are lot of fireflies lot of magical um, tone to it So that was your reading Virgo I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the month of July uh, I I'll probably post the videos early or uh, let's see how it happens I'll see you again bye bye